that is actually perfect for the Puma and Blacktail multi-mount. So he's a level 2 piebald. I don't know why they all like decided to leave at the same time. Just gonna kill that too since it's gonna stand there. But I said it like on the Trailblazer bait, I had that little albino that I killed, and I believe that was on the beta, so that's not one that I could just use. But like a small rare buck makes more sense than like a diamond or whatever, just because a puma's probably taken down, or I guess a mountain lion probably is what it would be called, you know, given that situation, but it's probably taken down a smaller buck, not a big mature buck. So that's pretty much exactly what I want. And I was thinking I was good on Pumas. Like, I got that diamond dark red, but that one's meant to be with the uh, the elk, the diamond elk that we got. So I'm going to have to go back to Parquet and see if I can get another diamond or... You know what? Now that I'm thinking of it, I think the diamond dark red is going to have to be with this piebald. Because I want to say the elk one required a female Puma, at least in the Trailblazer beta, so that could change. But, uh, not a very impressive buck, a little bit ugly antlers, that's, I mean, that's exactly what I'm looking for, something that's not impressive at all, and I guess wouldn't be ashamed to have killed by a mountain lion, but that's gonna be a multi-mount complete then, because, like I said, I don't think that Puma can go with the elk. Okay, so not gonna help me much with the Puma thing. But I found that. He's the smaller horn, so I'm not too worried about actually, like, losing quick kill on this. But I believe I can get him if I do what I'm trying to do here. Which is... That. And I think we did it. But he's 1183. Please, no touch. Uh, 1183 kilos. Which is right on the edge. Maybe. Maybe diamond, maybe not. I guess I should kill that, because otherwise I'm going to get dead in the middle of claiming it. And that's no good. But, uh, that aside, I hit his track, ran down here, realized he was going to be feeding, and kind of realized that a little bit too late. So, luckily he charged, because they tend to be quite a pain in this area for some reason. But... That is a diamond, actually, right on 950. I'm actually not 100% sure that I've ever had a water buffalo right on 950 like that. But we pretty much nailed exactly what I wanted. Two long shots, got him charging kind of broadside. I don't think at the moment there's any water buffalo multi-mounts, but that's another one, you know, it could happen, or otherwise they said that new lodge is going to be big game focused, so... I bet we have somewhere to put that guy, at least to start with. Okay, check out the track I just hit. We have an albino 200 kilo red deer. That's not even a gold, but I've only ever had two rare red deer stags, and they've both been highballed. And I thought, you know, there's that new, uh, new multi-mount. There's just one male, one female red deer. I really didn't think I'd be getting a rare mail for that for a long time, but it's their drink time right now, so I am going to maybe get myself hidden a little better. But hopefully he comes back down here somewhere, because that is super, super cool. So I don't think he was coming back, or if he did, he went like a different way where I couldn't see. But I'm afraid of losing them, so I'm just sort of slowly tracking them. I don't want to run, because um, I think there's maybe a chance he just went back to the same zone, just out of sight. I just saw him. He is right there. All right. So that's kind of kind of what I thought he might do. But now, we know his zone is back that way. He's got to come back to us. So I'm just going to stay up the hill from him, and hopefully we can get him. He's not going to be, like, right on top of us. We should be fine. And, of course, we don't necessarily need quick kill. It's not a big deal. But I still want it. He... Oh, I must have gotten unhidden. You can tell we're here. I think we'll be all right. I don't want to 
take a shot in there where I can't see. But yeah, he'll probably give us something. Or even he'll just not care and come right back. So if he'll just walk a little further. Alright, let's try to alert him there. Or he can do that. That'll work. Uh, I hope I can claim it. Just because multiplayer freaks me out sometimes, but... That is... Maybe as long as we can claim him, gonna be one of my favorite kills ever, and it's gonna... 100% be on that multi map And New Lodge, of course, I can't... Hardly screenshot that, but... We'll make it work. And... Please let me claim him. Yes! Only a 764, but... An albino red stag. Like I said, I didn't think I'd be finding a rare uh, male red deer for that for a long time. They just, they do not show up often, but that is, God, that's cool. Oh, look at what's coming back. I wasn't sure, but I saw... Just like as he was going through the brush, he looked extra dark to me. I'm going to kill that before he escapes me again. I ran for a while. Like, I just ran after him to try to figure out if he was melanistic. And I couldn't get any to serve veg. And I learned tracking that diamond gray puma. Like, they run forever. So I decided to just sit here and wait. I knew where his drink zone was. Parquet's been out. 11 months almost to the day and I've won in one of these pretty much somebody killed a diamond melanistic the first day I've won in one ever since and finally we have one and it's even a gold 853 now to be honest I hit the track he was 82 kilos so you know if he was going to be melanistic I knew he was going to be like a decent male and I actually wanted it to be a female when I first saw it because the multi mount for the elk requires a female but this guy is gonna go really really good with that piebald blacktail we shot and uh wow i'm really glad i just sat there and waited because i ran that gray puma for forever but that was like a 15 minute wait maybe not even for some reason pumas do seem to just take longer but when he came back and I finally saw him, I knew immediately for sure that's a melanistic. I'm going to have two of the kills I've wanted for forever off Parquet in the same dang video. That's amazing. But we're going to have just a really, really cool setup for that new lodge when it finally comes out. I mean, look at that. Like I was saying, I wanted the, the female puma... Or I wanted the female when I saw the melanistic, just because I wanted it to be stock in the elk. But I have that albino female that we're going to have to use, because that is just way too cool. And I don't know if I have a female red deer rare, like not in a lodge, because I feel like I mounted a bunch of them. But I will see what we have when I can find it. Okay, so we need male red deer. That's our new albino. And I have an albino female red deer. So that is going to be interesting to say the least. We'll just remove an albino to place two. Oh my god. I was kind of wanting two different ones. That is way too cool having two albinos. 100% that's what I'm keeping. If I... I probably have another albino female somewhere just set up. But, like, if we can get a diamond and an albino as well, that could be another really cool one. And they, they said, and I keep repeating this, the new lodge is going to be kind of more big game focused, so hopefully there's a lot of these plaques to work with. Or platforms. But that's really neat. We got our diamond water buffalo up there. I think... See, I shot these things throughout the week, so now I don't know... Is there anything I'm missing? I mean, I guess I can set up the albino female puma just so I have kind of everything in one place. I don't know 
where that is, but it's going to be right there. So she's going to go with the elk, which is that diamond guy we got. There's only shot out of the blind, actually. And by the way, I keep uh, going around mainly Leighton and Hirschfeld, and those are the ones I want to do it on. But I keep looking for more diamonds to like, set up tree stains and stuff on, because that was actually fun. And then we have that diamond dark red puma as well. That's gonna have to go with another blacktail. Maybe if we, maybe we can use a diamond uh, for him. But I guess we'll just have this guy set up, like I said, just to get everything in the same lodge. But I can't believe the luck we had this past week with Parquet Fernando. I mean, the uh, the piebald blacktail led me to Parquet because I wanted a new puma. Really, it, it was for the elk when I realized it because we had the diamond dark red but for the melanistic to show up like that was amazing and then this albino red deer we got the diamond water buffalo I mean this this lodge looks good and it's just a placeholder in a couple of days I'm gonna spend way too much time like moving stuff around and getting it all set up but anyway I think I've been gushing over this lodge for for too long so thank you guys for watching and i'll see you next time